Hi everyone, this is Seize. So I'm doing an out and about video and I'm going to be doing this commentary. This is pretty much one of those videos where I get a lot of comments telling me that I talk too much. If you don't like these type of videos where I just talk and ramble, you should probably watch a different video because this is going to be one of those videos where I just talk forever and ever and ever. Sometimes I talk so much that I end up putting pictures of my nails towards the end of the video because I just kept talking forever that my actual video had already finished and I need more I need more material towards the end to finish off the commentary. So I'm at Goodwill. I went the other day to Target and I saw some nutcrackers. I'm at Goodwill looking for nutcrackers today and I immediately notice a bunch of Christmas stuff. I absolutely love looking for Christmas stuff especially at Goodwill. I love getting decorations at a really good price and usually the things that you can find at Goodwill are really nice and in good shape. They're not, for the most part, they're not broken. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just somebody donated them and here's Goodwill and some Goodwills, they're a little overpriced and you will know which ones those are because if you shop at Goodwills, you will know which ones are overpriced and which ones are not. So, I think this one was $50. I would not pay $50 for that guy. But again, I don't know what that thing goes for retail. So, all I know is I wouldn't pay $50 for it. Saw that soda machine there. I thought it was funny. Something I, I don't really find at a Goodwill soda machine. So, here's all of the Christmas stuff. I did come for... Halloween and I didn't find a lot of Halloween stuff. Look at that little baby car. Adorable. I think someone was buying it. I don't know why for Halloween Goodwill doesn't really cater to that as much. Or maybe people just don't uh, donate enough Halloween stuff. But they definitely have a lot of Christmas stuff. So I immediately find these little... Um, nutcrackers and their decorations, their little ornaments for your Christmas tree. Not exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for the bigger ones, the ones that are $10 at Target. I didn't find any of those, but I did find these guys and I thought they were super cute, but it's not really the theme of my Christmas tree. So it, it won't actually match or go with my Christmas tree, but I mean, I could buy another Christmas tree and make it a Nutcracker Christmas tree, but then I'd have to figure out where to put that one. It's not really something I'm interested in right now. Maybe when I buy a bigger house and I'll be able to put Christmas trees in different rooms in the house, I think that would be great. So this this video is about a week old. I never got to up, upload it. It's been on my phone. It was about 25 minutes long or 26 minutes long. I edited it down a little bit and I uploaded it to my Spanish channel first last night and I was able to do the commentary on that. So right now I'm doing the commentary on this and the my Spanish channel isn't getting a lot of views because I don't have a lot of subscribers, but that's okay. I haven't uploaded anything on that channel for like two weeks, so I thought I'd upload this on that channel first since I haven't done anything there for a while. And I haven't done anything on this channel either for a while, and I'm surprised that it's been a whole week since I uploaded on this channel. The time just goes by so fast, and I don't go out often enough to make these videos to do uh, out and about videos and I, I just like need to get out more and I was supposed to go out today but it's really windy right now and I just don't want to be out there in in the crazy wind with my kids it's just not something I'm interested in right now and I think I'm also getting like a cold or something I keep having to clear my throat and sneezing and coughing. So I'm looking at these little cute houses. They're three dollars each. I want to say they're maybe 25 or maybe even more at Sears. Uh, I don't want to throw out any names for stores or anything but that's the only store I can think of that sells them right now. I'm pretty sure you can find them anywhere though 
and I saw this stuff. There's a really cute thing you can do with the magazine where you fold the pages and make it look like a Christmas tree and then you wrap this little wire around the tree. It's super cute. I've done it and I still have them. I think I made three trees and I have a whole bunch of new, uh, magazines. I'm like a magazine hoarder. I actually got rid of a lot of my magazines and now I'm down to maybe 20 magazines and I can't seem to get rid of them. I, I don't know why it feels wrong to get rid of those magazines, but it does. I feel like maybe one day I'm going to need those magazines for some type of information as, as if I don't have the internet or something. I really should get rid of those magazines, but right now I'm just not ready for that. Look at this cute little dog. Nothing wrong with it. Super adorable. Someone didn't want it. Now it's here for a dollar. I don't want it. Usually I check in here, I look for Cabbage Patch dolls, trolls. I like the troll dolls. They used to make these, like, actual dolls that were trolls. And I had two of them. I bought them at a yard sale, I remember. And I really miss those things. I, I'm sure my mom must have got rid of them or something. I, don't, I, I, I haven't seen them for, for a long time. I don't think I got to make a video with these with, the, with this nail polish. So I thought I'd I'd upload this. I'm really glad I did this video. It's just kind of just showing my nails moving around. I like making this these videos. I I find that they're unique and I don't really see other videos where people just go out and move their hands around and just show them and touch things and I just think they're unique and I like making them. It's fun and it's it gets me out of the house and gets me to do something and if you guys like them then oh my gosh look I love these books every time I see these books I always buy them these sell really good on eBay if if you guys wanna make easy money you can buy books at Goodwill buy them for a dollar fifty or a dollar fifty cents and you can check what it sells for on eBay and that's really good competition because if they're selling the book for six dollars with free shipping you can sell yours for five dollars with free shipping you still make a profit even if you charge a dollar or two dollars for shipping people will buy it because they're they would rather buy a book on eBay for six dollars than to go to another bookstore and buy it for the full price and if you haven't been to bookstores lately those books can be anywhere from like ten dollars to thirty dollars depending on what book you're looking at so right now I'm just looking for goosebump books and I'm not really finding anything and my kids are into the solar system and dinosaurs and few other things can't think right now but right now I'm looking for those specific books and I didn't really see much especially goosebump books I I always buy those even if I think I already have that book I still buy it anyway because you can sell it on eBay unfortunately I do have quite a few books in my office right now and I haven't posted anything on eBay but that's something that we're looking forward to do here soon especially during the Christmas season the holiday season People are on eBay shopping, looking for good deals, and right now is the best time to be selling on eBay or Amazon if that's what you prefer. I prefer eBay because that's just what we've been doing for the last uh, two years, and it's just something that we're used to, we're familiar with it, and we sell clothes like pants, shirts, books, uh, little cups. You can buy cups, mugs. You can buy mugs on um, in Goodwill or any thrift store, and they're usually about fifty cents. And you can sell them on eBay for nine dollars, so that's a really good uh, investment there. You can get a good return, good profit. So the reason I didn't include the audio for this tapping here is because the music at this particular Goodwill is extremely loud, and I didn't want any copyright infringement things going on there. So I just decided to not include the audio just to avoid any of that copyright stuff unfortunately I don't remember the music being that loud before but on this day it was pretty loud they were having a party in there and that's nice and I'm not, I'm not against it it just wasn't it wasn't good for my video so
I took my nail polish off the other day and I did put on a base coat but I haven't actually polished my nails and I find that just lately I've been feeling like I've been polishing my nails so often that I'm kind of tired of it. Polishing my nails is just seems like so much work for me right now because I don't know I feel like I polish them and then I want to take them off two days later so I can keep polishing them so I can keep making more pictures but it feels like a waste of polish it's a good polish it hasn't cracked or peeled or anything and I'm having this uh, mental thing going on right now where I feel like polishing my nails is it's a waste of good polish although I have I don't have a lot of polishes I have maybe like a hundred and twenty but I, I want to hoard it and make it last as long as I can and I think that's why I haven't polished my nails recently look at all these toys my kids saw me doing a I, I, I was watching a YouTube video on how to do a scarf and the lady on the video was using a really fluffy yarn so I went to the Pat Catan's some fabric place where you can buy um, bunch of like art stuff you know like Michaels and Joann's so Pat Catan's had this gorgeous yarn that I found I did my my crochet thing with the the scarf I even did a headband a matching headband so it looks really cute it, it turned out really nice my kids saw it they wanted me to make them one and then they wanted to actually learn it so I'm I'm here in this little area right now looking for crochet stuff for them. I don't see any, so I do end up going to Pat Catan's, and I do make a video of that, and I do um, include it in this video. So this video is uh, 21 minutes long, and like I said, I did edit some parts out. If you want to see the full video, you would have to go to my Spanish channel and see the whole video. I didn't really edit that video. I just... Uh, it's a lot like this one where I talk a lot. It's except it's in Spanish. So if you if you speak Spanish, if you understand it, you you can go check that one out. Or if you just want to hear me speak in Spanish, you can go check it out. So some people don't understand it, but they say they they like hearing me speak Spanish. I don't like how I speak Spanish. I think I need to work on my Spanish. Look at this really cute thing. I really wanted this. In fact, I did have it. I was holding it. I was going to buy it for my kids so they can put their yarn in there and their little crochet sticks. I don't know what they're called. I just call them sticks. But um, I ended up not buying it because the checkout lane was just too long and I didn't want to wait. So I keep thinking I'm going to go back there and find it. I don't think... Sometimes you just don't think someone else will buy something that you're interested in. So hopefully I'm right on this one and it'll be there like a week later. My kids break glasses like crazy. So whenever I do want to buy more more glasses, I try to buy four so that you know so they match. And I always go to Goodwill and you can buy them for fifty cents. So and if you know Goodwill does the thing where they have a special color that's fifty percent off that day. So you look under the glass and it'll say it'll have like a mark like a certain mark for a color blue purple and then depending on that day if that color is 50 percent off then you end up buying that item for 25 cents I think this one was blue can't remember so I, I picked out four of these thinking I was gonna get them for the kids but I ended up leaving them there because the line was too long it's always a good idea though if you have a bunch of kids that break things just go to Goodwill and buy something inexpensive that looks nice. That way, if they break it, it won't really hurt as much. It'll hurt because you still paid for it, but it won't hurt like you went to Macy's and paid $60 for a nice set, and then they ruined it by breaking them. So, it's a good tip there. I did file my nails. I... I figured they've probably grown a bit since I last measured them and so I was able to file them enough to where they're still an inch long but they're just a little more squared I just haven't polished my nails to make another video and 
that's something I really need to do here soon because I haven't done any video in in over a week. And I don't I don't think I remember using this polish in a video. So, this is the only video that I have with this polish. And the reason they're all different colors is because I thought maybe I could cheat a little bit. I could maybe take pictures on Instagram. If you saw my Instagram lately, I posted about 15 pictures and I have one picture with just purple, one picture with just the red, two fingers. And then um, I did several pictures of all of them together. It looks like a rainbow, really. They look really pretty. They come out really nice. But I thought I could cheat a little bit and have different polishes. And that way I could go through my polishes a little faster. That way I can start filing my nails sooner. I have a feeling it's going to take me a while, though, because I haven't even polished my nails here. So I'm at Pat Catan's now. And... Look, look at this cute Christmas ornament stuff, decorations, not ornaments, decorations. I think they make them there and then they sell them, and I guess it helps, it helps the store, I don't know. I don't know if the people that make them actually get commission off of the items that they sell, but it would be nice. So I'm here looking for yarn for my kids and those little sticks so they can so they can crochet. My kids actually got into it. One of them didn't really care so much. He, he just wants me to do his scarf. So he didn't really care. But my other two kids, they were really into it. They were really excited. So it was really nice to see them. Uh, it actually, it was nice because they actually sat there and concentrated and they didn't move around and you know, do the kid thing where they're constantly talking loud and moving around. Like, it, it was nice. If you want to get your kids to calm down, get them some crochet stuff and some yarn. It'll, it'll make you smile, I think. So, here's the stuff. I don't know what they're called. I don't really crochet. All I did was just see one video on YouTube. And I really liked the scarf, so I, and it looked really easy, so I decided it was easy enough for me to give it a try. And I want to say I did a pretty good job, so I'm, I'm happy with the results. And it's really heavy, and it's really big and fluffy. I think if you go to a store and try to find something similar to that, it would probably run about $80 or maybe even more, depending on the brand. Like if you go to J. Crew or Ann Taylor, those things are always expensive. I don't think you would find a scarf similar to the one I made at, let's say, Target or Walmart because they just don't, they don't do stuff like that. They do more simple stuff. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but... The, the one I did was really easy to make, but it's really big and fluffy, and it's thick and heavy. It's really awesome. This is what I used. Really thick yarn. If you're into crochet, this was a number six. Very bulky. And I love it. I love how it came out. Look, it's on sale, $7. I bought it for $8, so... Eh. Don't you hate that when you buy something and then it goes on sale later? I could probably take my receipt and try to get my my four dollars back, but I'm not gonna do that. Not too worried about it. So this is what I end up getting my kid. I get this fleece yarn. I don't know. And I got a pink one, a green one, and a blue one. I think they were four dollars each. Really soft, really uh pretty but I think I think for my kids because they keep uh, practicing on it the fleece is starting to kind of I don't want to say chip off but it's starting to ruin the fleece when they every time they undo their crochet stuff it ruins the fleece a little bit so I don't think this is really good uh, practice yarn for kids I'm I'm guessing like regular yarn but I don't know why I didn't do that I should have thought about it. Didn't think about it.
So I like coming here a lot. I do have a card with them. You get a little discount on certain items. And I don't know. I think it's cute. You get the card for $20, and then they give you a $20 gift card, so you get your money back. It's like Sally's. When you get the Sally's card, it's $5. They give you they give you a little coupon. You come back the next day, buy something for $5, whatever. You get your money back. So it's not that bad, really. It's pretty much a free membership. And maybe if bookstores did this, I would be getting memberships, like at BAM. Every time I go into BAM, they always, they like harass you to get a membership at that store, at BAM. And I always feel pressured into doing it, into getting it. And I'm pretty sure they get a commission for every membership that they get. Maybe if they gave you a coupon and gave you back those $20 for that one year membership, maybe I'd get that membership because I get my money back. And... I don't know. I just think they should be smart about it and give us back the $20 in a gift card. For all for all we know, out of 10 people, 5 of them might lose that gift card and they actually do profit and get those $20. You really do have to pay attention to where you leave these coupons because if you can't find them or they expire, then you don't get your money back. So, got to be smart. Get your money back. So this is it for my video. It's almost over. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Thank you for listening, commenting, sharing, subscribing. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much, and I'll post again soon.